Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra. I'm a professional fashion designer, pattern cutter, and creative consultant, and I help you to build your dream wardrobe in a sustainable way, designed by you, made by you, and worn by you. And today, I have a really exciting video to bring you that was originally filmed as part of our Atelierversary, which is creative play on words, I think you'll agree, our anniversary over in the DPL Atelier, which is my one-stop fashion membership, teaching you the entire process across our Create, Cut and Construct signature framework. So what better place to start with your dream wardrobe than the very first thing we put on in the morning, a pair of pants. <laughs> now, if you are unfamiliar with the Digital Pattern Library universe, I have made a pledge to always give you scrap buster patterns free of charge so that we can tackle the 15% roughly, I think I read that stat in 2016, might have changed, of textile waste that ends up on our cutting room floor. We know that sewing can be a little bit wasteful here and there, lots of offcuts. And so if you haven't checked out our free patterns already, go and have a look at digitalpatternlibrary.com. We have a pin cushion, zero waste house. I can teach you how to turn it into a mannequin arm so you can drape designs if you have a dress form and a stand. There is a yoga mat bag for you to carry your mat to and from classes. There's a load of innovative and creative ways to use up your scraps in a sustainable way. Now, the video I'm gonna be sharing with you today is the second half of this scrap buster. So if you would like to learn how to draft a knicker pattern to your measurements free of charge, then you can go and access the full video at digitalpatternlibrary.com forward slash freebies. So today we are going to be using up my scraps and creating a very nice pair of boy shorts. I love the comfort. I am not a thong kind of gal. <laughs> Comfort is always number one. And again, I really hope that you find this a useful way to utilize any offcuts that are in that middle gray zone of too big to throw away, but too small to really do much more with them. So without further ado, like and subscribe while you're here and let's jump into it. So from my scraps, I have cut out my pattern pieces and I'm gonna start by simply sewing down the center front and center back crotch seam. If you don't have an overlocker, do not worry. We have plenty of working with knits, workshops, and supportive learning resources inside the DPL Atelier, but you can absolutely just use a zigzag or stretch stitch on your domestic sewing machine. I'm just gonna get started, right sides together. Same with my front piece. Then once you've got these, you can join it at the crotch. You might find it easier to base this first if that is something that works for you and a straight stitch is fine for that. You don't need to back tack. You can use the longest stitch available to you and you can just base these in place first. But I'm crazy. And then once you're happy with that, I'm just going to finish the long edges of my crotch lining. Not that that needs to be finished on um, an overlocker. Jersey doesn't really fray. I'm then just going to finish the leg opening edges. For placing my lining, right sides together on my pattern, my notch is matching at my crotch line. And I'm just gonna base that in place first with a straight stitch. And then I can make sure that that works, turn it through, and once I'm happy with it, I will overlock that in place. So having basted that in place and turned it through, just to check that that is successful, I've pinned that right sides together, as we can see here. And I've basted that just with a straight stitch. And then turning that through, just pull your knicker pattern pieces through. And you then have your lined crotch like so. And we can finish the construction of our knicker accordingly. I'm just gonna finalize that with an overlock stitch. I have just basted it. Um, if you wanted to just baste it and end up finish it, finishing your uh, boxer briefs, maybe with a decorative elastic trim or something like that, 
then basting would be fine and you can then just do a final stitch once you come to do your elastic trim. But I am going to overlock this. And then you can turn that through. So just grab, putting your hand through the lining, grabbing the other side and pulling that through. We'll turn that to the interior of your design. You can give this a good press at the iron. And now if you so wish, you could encase elastic along here. You could address the fit that way. You can decide how to finish the top as well. So I can just finish the edges on this one. And then finally, we sew up our side seams. And there's the basic construction. What you can now do is add an elasticated waistband if desired to finish the fit of your knicker pattern. So once you are happy with that, we're just going to finish the leg opening and waistband. Now it is your prerogative at this stage, you can absolutely introduce a small bit of elastic running through um, depending on the fit that you require. But I'm just going to be folding this up. I've already finished the leg end and I'm going to be securing that with a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. So with my iron and on the inside and interior of my garment, I'm just going to press this up. You can use a tailor's ham to help you. Just folding up all around my leg opening. And then once you're happy with that, you can just zigzag and finish your leg all the way around. Needle in your work. And then with your waistband, depending on your desired aesthetic, you can either add a elasticated waistband and an inch of elastic to the top, or similar to the hem of the leg opening, you can fold this down at the iron and encase a bit of elastic within that channel. So we would be folding this down and then encasing elastic. Try these on, see what kind of fit and rise you'd like, and then finish them accordingly. So I'm just going to do that now and then I'll show you my finished product. Now we have a basic knicker block. You're going to have the skills to be able to add an elasticated waistband, raise this high up to the waist if you want full coverage, play around with the shape here. You might prefer, you might see here a little fitting amendment. I might want to taper that little bit in, but it's just a case of drafting the block, getting the fit. You might want to play around with negative ease, meaning just deducting ever so slightly from these seams here. If you do that, make sure that you are considering how this applies to double or quarter the measurement. If you take in half a centimeter from your center front, that actually ends up being a centimeter that you're pinching out and tapering into the center front line. But there we have it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this scrap buster pattern. Let me know how you get on.